Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Boy Train. Uh, as you can see by the version number down here, we are currently in like version 11,700 and something. Uh, we are currently now in the full release of the game, from what I've heard and from what I've seen, much of the game has changed. We have new landscape, we have new environmental hazards, uh, mechanics have changed, mechanics have been added, and as you'll see in a moment, there's been an intro that will be added. I uh, decided to get back into this because I actually like the idea, and I thought I'd give another shot and see where we go. Uh, one of the things I haven't done yet, actually, uh, yes, I did actually try to play it. I already did one video on this, and I wasn't happy with how it turned out, so I'm, I am doing a better shot at it. Um, so, yeah, I'm redoing the, video, the, the episode, the first one. Uh, one of the things I didn't do is actually do a character. And I was looking at this, it's actually quite interesting how you can randomize different characters. And I did see one that I thought was quite interesting, but let's see if we can... Find one, not that it matters, because we're going to be in first person anyways, this is for like the multiplayer, but... You know, just find one here. I don't know. Good enough. I could go there all day, but I won't. Anyway, let's begin. Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much, it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into... Outer space? Hmm. No. Also no. Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is. The forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not a nameless journey, but a long way up here. Right into the heart of the endless, snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence, and minus 45 degrees outside the window. Brr. Meet the man who made off into this palace of silence, the engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months, until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. This is the first time I've ever seen an interactive intro. Uh, I don't think it really matters where you click. You, I could click over here, or I could click over here, or I could click up there. And I still get the same footprints, or at least I think the footprints. Had not started at the wrong time. Chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. The fourth wall, no such thing. Let's knock. Anybody home? Be nice if you actually clicked it more than once. Usually starts. And here we are back at the beginning, and uh, this has actually changed a bit too, so. There was nothing. No people. I actually like how they did no this. Home. Only darkness. I'm sure some of you have already seen it, some of you may have not, but anyway. Here we are, back in the little cabin, which apparently is in the middle of the woods. I also don't remember how it was starting before, but... Uh, let us be in the uh, tutorial, yada yada yada, close this. Uh, I think anybody who's played a video game knows how to actually walk. Now, it's kind of hard, but there's actually this little symbol we're going to look for that you can see up in the upper right there. That's our objective. So we go ahead and open up the light. And... Oh, it's locked. Of course. Gotta hit harder. If I were you, I'd look for a key. Or something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. My head. Okay. Now we gotta look around and open up boxes. I love games that add little things like this. I don't think that's going to help. Try hard, try hard enough. Try hard enough. Anything will. But of course, hmm, a heavy blunt object. Story of how we got our hammer. 
Good old engineer. All right, let's break something. Needs work. I'm afraid there's nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? Are you sure? Anything can be solved with a hammer. Oh, in this case, a handyman secret weapon. Duct tape. Not really duct tape, but kind of like a blue gorilla tape, possibly. The modern handyman secret weapon. My glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? Don't particularly say which one. There's a few of them. But of course, the lever. And this guy's called an engineer. Really? No wonder, the, no wonder everything's collapsed in the void. And off we go. Kind of reminds me of Poltergeist. And there are those things are whatever they are. Now what I'm wondering is if I landed on the this might come in handy. on the cart, why those things don't land on the cart when they fly over top of me. Why the gravity doesn't affect them. Why it's only me. Uh yes, move to the void, yada yada yada. We gotta be over here and get our diary. This is gonna be our like our little journal quest log inventory or uh yeah just quests and stuff like that let me get back up on the train and where is it here and there we go tells us to pick up the diary and open the diary easiest quest ever no rewards unfortunately so we can get out of here and off we go of course such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble figuring that's out that's an amazing looking game trolley. uh make it demonetized for that one well gonna happen anyways you're gonna shut uh, gonna take me off the program because uh inactivity but anyways i love that son all right what do i gotta do uh what's what i'm gonna do oh, yeah let's go backwards well pretty much try pulling the other lever yeah stop the train and we'll go the other way now there has been uh, a few new things that I've noticed in the void. I haven't gone too far past oh, the first right now, void gate. Um, I haven't really seen anything about what they're specifically called, but I know what they do and uh, know what to do when I'm around them. Now they have this little mini game on the trolley too. So you gotta try to time it to get into the area and then uh, try to get it into the gold area, but I've never actually done that. There it is, five times. So there you go, that's just a speed boost. Anyway, uh, I don't want to go too fast because I actually want to uh, get resources. Make sure I gather everything. And that's what it's going to tell me to do is I got to... Let's actually close this. Now, improvisation wants me to collect stuff. Now, it's going to sort of do like collect this, build that, collect this, build that sort of deal. So I'm going to go ahead and stockpile a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll bring you back when I got everything. Uh, this is one of the actually new things that they have added. I don't know exactly what they're called. I don't know if these can actually be destroyed, but they're just little, little jets that push you along. Right? A little, little boost. And go around and pick stuff up. And then they have these things here. Now these things are just basically biological landmines. You get too close to them and they explode. And they will do damage and send you flying. So, uh, without further ado, 
I'm gonna go do some uh, gathering and I'll bring you right back. Just a quick little tutorial on building. If you haven't seen it, you open up the the building menu with B and T, and if you, uh, if you hold it, you bring up the crafting book. You get, uh, basically, like this: you hold hold T, bring up the crafting book, which will bring you up recipes. Go down to here to hammer to uh, uh, deconstruct and move objects and stuff like that. Anyway, and with a full inventory, I have returned. I am pretty much completely full up. I think I could carry a little bit more wood and a little more. Uh, chemicals, but I am back. So, uh, everything went okay. I did have a bit of a run with two of those things, so they're not too bad. Maybe pull up a little bit. And I'll sh oh, actually, there's one right here. Oh, uh, my health isn't terrible. Or, my health is actually good. My hunger is actually low. Uh, it's one of the things I was having fun with the previous video I was doing of this particular episode was it is i wasn't picking up enough, enough picking up enough of the organics and ice and i didn't actually realize the ice actually gave you food it gives you five percent food and organics gives you food as well so yeah that's something i didn't realize and uh yeah so i was trying to pick that up anyway uh now unfortunately you have to hear the music but i don't know if you can hear it. it's really uh like a rubbery scrunching kind of sound it seems to actually make make a weird noise but there we go and they pop. I don't think they drop anything. Uh, oh yeah, I can't pick that up. Anyway, uh, we have a quest to do, so I gotta build a research table. So let's go into our building menu. And let's build a research table. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the wrong button, of course. Alright, research table. We're trying to hit R to rotate it. I uh, don't have much room here. We'll be, once we get to the next table, we'll definitely be expanding the platform. Uh, I remember, I can't remember how we were supposed to be able to add extra wagons, and that was one of the things that most people were having troubles with, is uh, you can expand the platform, but you can't add another wagon, you need special components, and I honestly can't remember what that was, it was something that had to be built on the workbench, or whatever. Anyway, uh, research the smelter. Now, I have got enough stuff, so I will see how far we can get, research the smelter. Takes a couple of seconds, we get out of here, and then I have to build it. Alright, I uh, go back into the old crafter and build the smelter. Uh, let's rotate it this, put it over here. We'll just kind of rotate it and try to keep it out of the way. I want to make sure I can actually get to the brake if the trainer gets away on me, which it did. But we won't talk about that because I didn't record it. Anyway, so what's next? Uh, smelt an iron bar. I think I can do that. Now I got a lot of wood. We'll put, uh, put five in here for now. And we're gonna need a lot of iron, we're gonna need copper too eventually, so but we'll just make uh, five iron, it takes 50 seconds. Like so, pick up that, now we can go ahead and we can research and build container one. Research, build, and contain research container one, and we gotta build a research, no, build a container, and then we gotta research the shelf, and then we have, well, you'll see. Anyway. Build a container, we place it there, uh, get out of here, hit the right button this time. Alright, now I'm going to research and build a workbench. We're trying to fill up our platform with stuff that we don't have the space for. we got to build this, and uh, I guess I'll put this over by the shelf here, uh, and it makes some more iron. So let's go ahead and make more iron. Uh, make another five. And out of fuel. Go ahead and pick that up. We'll add more fuel. Uh, another five logs. This is why I picked everything up. And we wait. And complete. And it's about as hot in my place as it is in that smelter. Anyway, so now we got to go ahead and uh, build that workbench. So we go back in here. We grab the workbench. I want to put it over here by the container by the front of the. You're gonna call it a ship. It's not a ship. It's a, technically not even a train. It is currently a rail car. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter where I put, place that. We'll go do that. Now what are we gonna do? Technology complete technology series stage two. Now it's not actually saying technology stage two. I'm guessing phase two is what they mean. So we'll go ahead and we'll research that. This is why I crafted, it. made all, collected all the extra materials because I knew I was gonna need it. And what does it want me to do now? Now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna complete this. So I gotta go in here and I'm gonna smelt up a copper copper bar. In fact, I will smelt up how much we have. Uh, might as well smelt up all three because I'm gonna need the I'm gonna need the iron later, and I know I might as well 
waste my scroll iron scrap, so I'll have to go get more. Ding. Done. Alright, so now, go back over here, research stage 2, and that'll be done in a second. Like so. And now we're going to build a lab. Oh, we're going to research and build a lab. Go right ahead, research. I need uh, one wire and one spring. And uh, I'll make that over in here. This is where I need so much room. It'd be, it'd be nice if you had some sort of building queue or something lined up, but I guess you can't if technically you're here doing this, but... Oh, and that's right, you can't craft, take, you can't actually make anything if you got sit anything on top of there. But, you know, if you're actually doing this, you shouldn't be able to set this, get it working and walk away from it if you're actually the one doing it. The smelter is a little bit different. Anyway, now we go here. Did I not pick up the spring? Of course not. Oh, I don't have inventory space. Of course not. Uh, now I do. Auto sorting would be nice. Yeah, we researched that. Now I gotta build it. And I'm probably gonna need resources I don't have. And let's see here. Lab. Of course, one wire and one spring. Now, do I even have any iron and copper left? I do. Alright, well, I'll take care of this one pretty bad. Okay, now I got enough. Now for the lab, where I'm going to put this. I guess I'll put it over here in this corner, since it's the only corner that's not, avail not occupied at the moment. Alright, let's get out of there. Now what do I do? Complete technology stage 3. Alright, this is where the grind comes in. Uh, it's not too bad. Unstable chemicals. Which is fine, because I have lots of chemicals on me. So let's go ahead and put more fuel in here. And... Where did I get that from? I have no idea. Well, hang on to it. I might actually need it for something. Alright, so I gotta make two of these. Uh, and this won't take too long. 18 seconds. Which goes in a blink of an eye. And now we have unstable chemicals. So now we go in here and we can research com what are that? chemical components. Now that'll take us to container rack. Now the quest for storage. That's always an issue with this. Uh, I remember last time I had like a half, a whole train car full of container racks. So we gotta build a container rack. So we need one bolt. And I have one iron and I need one iron to make one bolt. I believe yeah one iron one bolt so we'll go ahead and make that and let's see if i have enough iron ashy i'm not scrapped like an iron i do oh my god it's like like the gods are working against me or working for me this time i should say <laughs> get so used to it right uh, i hate to see what kind of bait things are out in the void they're gonna get me eventually all right ding ding get down pump all right storage rack and now I have to get more resources because I need more to build this rack. Uh, yeah, wrong button. I was hitting V, not V. Uh, storage rack. One more iron, one more. Oh, I think I have enough. Hang on, hang on. Uh, over here, yes. Let me see what I got. I don't. All right. Well, I want to start to uh, keep chugging along here. I'm going to try to get up some more resources. Uh, when we get close to the void gate, I'll bring you back and we'll finish up what we're doing and we'll end the episode inside the depot. So I will be right back. Okay, this looks like a good place to stop. I have gotten all the resources I need and we just happen to be approaching the void gate. Actually, I like that little glowing eye they have up there. Let me grab this scrap before we go in. Uh, oop! Good thing I felt up my hunger. Uh, not that I was taking any damage, like as you can see the top bar is my health and I haven't actually taken any damage. And from what I can see, I can tell, uh, like, uh, there's a sort of a uh, tutorial, little tutorial that popped out about, uh, satiety, sat satiety, or whatever, whatever, however you pronounce it, it has all to do with basically, uh, my hunger is above that little line that you see right about where the transmission handle is. Uh, if my hunger is above that, I'll regenerate health, and that's pretty much how it works. I think my health only regenerates us so far. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, um, I have everything I need, so uh, what was I doing? I was building a container rack. Yes, I gotta actually go ahead and craft up a couple of irons. Let's do two of those. Okay, um, 
don't really need much else. I have to get some stuff on me. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, that is the key I was looking for. We got a few things, some chemicals, a little bit of food, water, whatever. And a lot of fuel, of course. We'll be done this in a sec, and I'll probably make... I'll probably make two containers. Let me get some stuff ready for that. And I had just enough. All right. So, uh, let's see what I need here. So I need, one, I want to make one container. So I got the iron for that. I want to make one container rack. I just need one bolt. All right, so we go over here, make one bolt. And take a second to do that. This is where all the task and cube, cube processing goes, where you queue up a whole bunch of stuff and you just have like all your workbenches running at the same time so you can make a whole bunch of different stuff. Anyway, uh, I want to put this somewhere where I don't have to worry about wanting to move it again because, uh, yeah, it costs stuff to move. Let's actually... Where would be a good place to put it? Actually, let's put it over on this side. I think it'll be fine. I rarely use a transmission anyways. I'll stick that there. And hit T to get out of here. I think I had to finish building it. No, I didn't. Now, I bring my hammer. So I hold T and bring that up. And then when I hit B, that is not what I wanted. I was supposed to click. I know what I'm doing, I swear. There. Now I click. Now if I hit T. No. Ah. Uh, N is the button. Aha. I know what I'm doing. So we go ahead and relocate. It costs one wood to do, which I don't really care for, but whatever. I'm going to get out of here. And now I'm going to build another container. We'll put it right on top. Uh, what's it want me to do? Kitchen. Uh, we'll worry about the kitchen later. I want to build a container. All right, so build research and build kitchen. Now, what do I need for the kitchen? Uh, wait, what do I have? Oh, I have to finish this first. Sorry, one iron and one grease. Okay, well, void gates there. I'm gonna continue going. I'm gonna gather some more stuff. I have a tiny little bit of extra storage space. I'm gonna utilize, and I'll bring you back when we're just about to enter. There's something I just love about this music. Should be gathering right now, but I want to record this part coming up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I want to get us three sources. Oh. We'll get more. We'll get more. Come on. Come on. Epic reveal. I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to. I see scrap. Good, good, scrap. There you go. Come here. Don't blow up on me. Oh. Oh. Always look behind you in this game. You never know what you're gonna find behind you. Hiding behind a rock. Eee! That legitimately scared me. It scared me so much I couldn't even speak properly. <sighs> it's almost like a creeper in Minecraft. You hear that hiss. It's like, oh, you know what's gonna happen no matter what you do. All right, well, that was uh, not worth my time. And there's the big old chain. Embrace the gate. In a second. Come on, man, I'm missing all these resources. Where are they? Hang on. Okay, now we do it. I'm sorry, but this game you really can't let resources go by. Even if you're trying to do like dramatic video sequences, which are dragging on for ages. And, and, I'm missing so much stuff. Arg. What? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's uh, a little too much. It's like graph, though. You see something floating by, you really can't let it go. Because you know that you really can't produce this stuff. Okay, that'll be it. I can see the gate now. And embrace me. And here it is. Should be. I'm just waiting for that laser beam to zap me.
Come on, man. You're making me miss so much stuff. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Resources. Need that scrap. The epic struggle to get supplies so you can go in and never. Eesh. Worth it. I got four scrap out of that. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Let's get this over with. Come on, let's go. I hit you. Ooh, that did no damage to me. Boom, 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 boom. What are you looking at? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this going. Let's go full speed into this thing. Oh, I'm missing here. Ramming speed. There we go, a big five times. That's as far as it's gonna let me go. Open up. I can only imagine how much stuff I've missed. Amazing. The visuals in this game are just breathtaking. And here we go. Hello, Hal. What can I do for you? You're not gonna kill me, are you? Oh! Never done that before. Let's get back on the train before it takes off. I was trying to hide by the lab there, and it didn't work. And here we go. As you can see, things have changed. If you've seen this before, we definitely of have. Of course, I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare. Vegetation now. Where is everybody? Definitely interesting. All right. So what do we got to do? Sneak in. Uh, not really much to sneak into. Uh, I don't think there's really much to actually find around here. I have seen a few containers that I picked up some supplies from, but let's go sneak in. We'll take everything we can. Loot as we go. All right, a little dark. I know. Take the scrap. And go down. And uh, I need a loot. Don't want to miss anything because I don't want to. You won't be going back here. All right. I remember we used to be able to loot lockers. At least I think so. And go down here. And we gotta watch out for the steam. It will actually hurt me and I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm so used to control being crouch or run, but for some reason it's crouch. Uh, there was, I thought there was some scrap in here I could take. I guess not. There's wood though. And outside. Oh, and a bin. Take the bin, take the wood, take the scrap. One man's garbage, another man's treasure. Now, when I first came up to here in the, other, the previous attempt of this video, I didn't know what to do and I was thinking, well, how am I supposed to get across here? And I remembered, oh yeah, that's right. In the void, just jump off and float around. And unfortunately, that's about as high as you can go, so you can't like glitch into places you're not supposed to. I will take the supplies. And over here, oh, all right, going here, nothing, nothing, nothing. Run upstairs, and my poorly attempted parkour attempt from previous. Just gonna look around for any supplies. I don't see anything. Alright, so now we go up here, we go over here, and this time I do it right. Go up here and jump through the gate. Go a little vent here. Uh, oh, I missed. Okay, now I took some damage. Well, the goddesses of time and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Well, at least he won't be needing a revolver anymore. There's a lot of things in here he doesn't need. Let's take everything. Is that on his light? Alright, now we're down here. Well, let's go ahead and take the revolver. And we'll see what other junk we got laying around here we could steal. I mean, borrow. I mean, uh, repurpose. Yes. Ah, okay, yada yada yada. We all know how these guns. This skeleton was. So many diagrams on the table. He's Nobody now. Kind of <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Well, used to be. Alright, anything else in here? Anything else? Good. I'm gonna take the blueprints. Or the nope or whatever. Hmm. Now is it the combination of the safe right out in the open. That was a great idea. 
But don't yes. ever do the same thing, okay? Why? Oh, you turn it up there? No. Alright, now where is the safe? Over here. Take that. I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. And yes, we are. Alright, anything else? No. Goodbye, boards. And I love Guns of the Infinite Battle. Alright. Go up here. I keep hitting the wrong button. I might have to rebind those keys. Supplies? No supplies. Yes, supplies. Just wood. Alright. Let us go back. And unfortunately, you can actually walk those boards because everything is so rotten. Maybe that's why that guy died. Or so it decayed. Alrighty. Let's head back. Oh, isn't this nice? Or anything else we can, we can uh, borrow? Hmm. I remember... Oh, maybe it was a different one. I remember I was watching Dre play and he did happen to find uh, the altar chest or whatever. Now about my brilliant idea and the details. The console on the platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. Maybe it was, it was the other the the next people. Paragraph. Anyway, so we gotta go over here and get upgrade. Now, not enough resources, no. Dre was having this problem too, where he couldn't upgrade it for some reason, it wasn't letting him do it, and I think maybe I have to do something else for it, but anyways. We can go ahead and upgrade our wagon. And, and make it bigger, so now we got more room. So now, we get out of here, and expand the locomotive, okay, uh, yeah, yada yada yada, we already know that. Needs more resources, which is commonplace, and... Yes. Anyway, so that's just telling us that we want to, when I'm ready to go, I just pull the lever and we're off. Okay, now is there anything else I can actually do here? I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, that's uh, adding different like things like extra brakes and stuff and I uh, don't really need that and nothing we can do. So, let's go ahead. Wait, what was in the front there? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. They actually added this here where you can get different like train mounts in the front. I don't think that was in the previous version I was playing. Anyway, uh, what do I have for wood? Can I actually do anything here? I have plenty. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a floor down here. Do, 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 do. Just like so. And then T to close the book. And now let's move a few things around. Now let's go ahead and relocate this. We will place you over here. Try to get things a little more organized. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's have the lab and the smelter next to each other in fact maybe oh I don't want to waste the wood but I might actually rotate this that's gonna cost me one wood just to do this it's kind of sad but anyway and then the workbench oh, hit the right button here and let's relocate you over here I would also have the research the research can go over here so I'll put the Maybe I'll put the workbench over here. Put here like so, sure. And then you, if I have the wood, which I do, I will put you on the side here. And right there will be the, nope, that won't be good. I will be right there. All right, now, what do I have for resources? I don't think I have much. Let's put that away, please. Might hurt myself. Uh, I have a few things. Okay, what is it we need to do? Leave the depot. Uh, is there anything else I need to actually build? Uh, open the old journal. Let's see what I can do while I'm here. Uh, uh, additional survival. Build kitchen one. Alright, so that was over in here. I gotta go ahead and finish researching this. So let me get this stuff done and I'll be right back. Okay, almost done actually. Uh, I gotta make the grease, which I need the unstable chemicals for. So I make, grab the unstable chemicals. Go in here and make grease out of that. I'll create that. I grab my iron. And we wait a second here. I probably don't have enough to research kitchen. We have to actually do that in the next episode. But at least we'll finish uh, this tier here. And I'm now that I moved everything, I don't know where anything is. So I'll go ahead and research that basic components too. And that's going to allow us to make springs and bearings and other stuff. Now, kitchen. I need two iron and a copper. I think I might actually have that. Uh, let me check. 
Okay, I had enough to actually research it, so I'm just going to crafting up the materials now. I made the, the gear and I made the bolt. I'm just going to make the wire. And I'm going to go ahead and make the cut, or sorry, the pipe. Make the pipe, and then I should have enough to re research the kitchen at least, but I don't think I have enough supplies to actually build it. And it's definitely going to help with food. So, research this, and let's see what it gives me. Nope. And now I gotta build the kitchen. No, we're waiting for the kitchen. One iron, one copper, and one, uh, two iron and one copper. And I have three. I have enough. Let me get that back ready, and we'll be right back. Okay, just about done. All I have to do is build, make this copper pipe, and then I can make a kitchen, and then we can call this an episode. Alright, there we go. Now, for the kitchen. Now I'm gonna have to stop re eating raw organics and actually make something somewhat satisfying. I'm hitting the wrong button here. I'm trying to rotate it. Actually, let's have it like that. It seems more fitting. So, I'll just do that. And there we go. Now, what can I make with this? Ah, uh, come on. There we go. What kind of recipes we have? I can make grilled organics or I can make water. Ooh, nice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any thirst requirements at the time it doesn't tell me what I get out of it let's go ahead and make a little bit and see what we get out of this uh, okay and uh, maybe it was giving me plus five before maybe it'll give me, give me a little bit more let's find out oh yeah got it from the side here all right what is it what do you give me okay Oh, plus 10. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and eat that. And maybe... Yeah, have a little bit of this. Oh, because I gotta get my health, my food up to here, I think. To start regenerating, or... Here? I'm not too sure. Anyways, I think we'll call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.